there is something known as consistent image formation. There is a screen here and wave 1 is approaching this screen. It has got this graphical representation. There is another wave which is also approaching it. This has got this graphical representation. Now, <clears throat> there may be occasions when this crest will reach, at that time this trough will reach. There will be cancellation of amplitude. There may be occasions when this trough, this trough and this crest and this crest, they reach together. When they reach together, then there will be a high amplitude. And when crest and trough reach together, there will be no amplitude and there will be occasions when there will be a mixture of the two. So what we get a resultant wave here, we can imagine the resultant wave may be a irregular wave. This way, this way, this way, this way, like any. So when this part reach, then there will be lot of brightness on the screen. When this part reach, there will be darkness. When this part reach, again there will be brightness. So sometimes screen will be bright and sometimes screen will be dark. We will not be able to see it with our eyes because these changes are so swift that we are not able to differentiate. So what do we see? If this is giving intensity I1 and this gives a lower intensity I2, this gives I1, this gives I2. So we see an average intensity, an average intensity. Is there any superposition taking? Yes, superposition is taking place. But because of this superposition, what we are getting intensity, this is average. Now see another superposition. In this, these two makes the screen at this point amplitude 2a. After this, this two reaches together that is minus 2a. Then they reach together plus 2a. Then they two reach together minus 2a, plus 2a, minus 2a, plus 2a, minus 2a. At every time how much is the intensity? So intensity when these two reach together is 4a square. When they together reach there, the intensity is again minus 2a whole square, that is 4a square. Again 4a square, 4a square, 4a square, 4a square. So every time we see that it has got a brightness equal to 4a square. And at that time, what was the brightness? Average. Average means what? Sometimes it was 0, sometimes it was 4a square. So average of the two was 2a square. Now every time it is 4a square, 4a square. So all the time what we see? 4a square. See another example. Here there is a wave which reaches this way, this. And Another wave is reaching here. This wave is reaching this way. When this is a trough, this is a crust. Cancel. Amplitude 0. Intensity square of the 0. When this reaches there plus a, this reach there minus a. Again, the amplitude is 0. Intensity 0. When these two reach there, again, they cancel out intensity 0. We see it for 1 second, 2 second, 5 second, 10 second. This always remain dark. Always. This always remain bright. This neither bright nor dark. 
So here what we see average. This is a superposition. This is a superposition and this was also a superposition. You have seen this one and in this case we see the result. Here in this result 1 second, 2 second, 3 second, 4 second, 10 second. Every time the amplitude is 0. Here every time we see the amplitude is same. But here sometimes it is high, sometimes it is low. This type of superposition is known as consistent and this is opposite to that inconsistent. Inconsistent type of superposition, the intensity remain same. Here intensity remain same. But here intensity keeps on changing and because it keeps on changing the effect we see is average. And here we see the true effect. This is 0. Here this is I maximum. So for seeing this effect or this effect continuously what is required the superposition should be consistent. Then the image formation will be either bright or dark and we will be able to see the effect of superposition. And if they are like this, sometimes crest on crest, sometimes crest on trough, we will not be able to see the effect of superposition, constructive or destructive. What we will see is a average light. Now, if we really want to see this effect of cancellation, this effect of additional brightness, then what should be the property of the waves? Those properties of the wave is that these two waves have certain properties because of which they will be known as coherent waves. So superposition of coherent waves, these are coherent, these are coherent. Superposition of coherent waves form a consistent brightness. But if the waves are not coherent, they will not form a consistent brightness, they will give average brightness. So for consistent brightness, coherent waves are required and now in the next lecture we will study what is coherent waves and how can we get coherent waves, what is the difficulty in getting the coherent waves and if we don't get coherent waves, we will not get the superposition effect continuously and what we will get is average lighting like we see all here.